And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. All right, a happy Friday. A dense fog once again across many areas across the viewing area. Looking at uh, near three miles in Kokomo, less than a half mile Frankfurt, about a half mile Crawfordsville, Newmarket, Covington. Here in Lafayette, down to 1.75 and a mile and three quarters here in Lafayette, about four Peru, Rochester. So really area wide uh, looking for some very dense fog. Drive cautiously, uh, leave plenty of space between you and others and watch for those strobe lights on the buses this morning. Just drive safely. We are going to be watching temperatures though. Where we're seeing the more dense fog and some more lower layer clouds. We're seeing the 60s and upper 50s, 59 Lafayette, 60s. Uh, 61 Peru, 61 Frankfurt, 53 though Covington, 55 in Newmarket where they've been allowed to see clear skies this morning, but they'll soon see more fog and those low clouds. But we are severe clear and pretty much uh, mid to upper loud uh, cloud clear, but those lower level clouds are really starting to take over much of the viewing area this morning. So the rest of the day though, we'll watch for the dense fog to kind of stick around through nine o'clock. It'll start to break up and then by lunchtime and thereafter plenty of sunshine. Get outside and enjoy the beautiful weather. We'll get up to 76, a couple degrees above normal, but should be a very fantastic day. The nice refreshing east northeast wind about five to about eight miles per hour tonight. Fantastic weather for maybe a bonfire and for, of course, Friday night frenzy. Those high school football games looking like great condition of temperatures at about 7 o'clock 72 dropping down tonight back into the mid to lower 50s with once again some patchy fog Saturday morning, uh, but we will be seeing that here on Futurecast. Note here by 1230 uh, we'll start to see those clouds break apart and give way to plenty of sunshine this afternoon and evening. Here's 7 and then going into Saturday looks great as well with a little bit of patchy fog in the morning kickoff 3:30 tomorrow for Purdue at Ross Sage should be a great afternoon for some Purdue football three o'clock high temperatures. We have the lower 80s upper 70s with plenty of sunshine and we'll see temperatures drop once again back in the mid 50s. So the overall picture here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, very dry, very hot weather for this time of year looking at potentially mid 80s by Wednesday picking up a little bit more clouds, but then by Thursday night into Friday. A nice cold front will move through and it will usher in likely some very nice fall like weather. 82 Sunday, 83 on Monday, then getting well above normal Tuesday, Wednesday. And then look at that uh, temperature 78 on Thursday with those storms coming in. Uh, timing still a little iffy, but it looks like Thursday into Friday will be watching that front move through and we could potentially see highs only in the 60s and lows, potentially 30s, 40s by next weekend, Joe. All right, well, the heat up could be short lived then. Yeah, so. short lived first week of October looks yeah. very warm, but after that looks like we could see some nice fall like weather. Back sure. to normal, maybe back to normal. Hopefully. Well, hey, and tonight I wanted to mention the homecoming parade is you mm -hmm. mentioned the game tomorrow. We got the parade tonight, so lots right. of homecoming activities. Happening. Yes, so a lot of busy uh, things going on. So yeah. the weather looks great. Uh, should cooperate. No rain, Sweet. Uh, but just the big thing this morning, yeah. very dense Oof. fog. Uh, drive safe out there if you can. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, David. Hey,